So I'm spraying my CO2 cannon and nothing's coming out or I'm spraying my CO2 jets and I hear the noise, but no smoke or CO2 plumes are coming out. You're not in that big of a problem, but you do have a problem. The problem is one of two things, maybe three, depending on the situation. You either have a tank that's not the right type of tank for your setup. So if you have a regular handheld CO2 cannon or CO2 jets and you got any CO2 tank, I hope it's CO2, it should be CO2. You probably got a regular CO2 tank and you didn't get the siphon tube tank. If you don't know what a siphon tube tank is, there's other videos on this page that talk about that specifically. So you just have to go get the right type of tank. Or your tank, number two option that could be wrong, is the tank is out. The tanks only last a certain amount of time. They go by very quick. We have other videos on this page and our YouTube channel that talk about the length of time for those CO2 tanks. So if you've used that, if you've used the CO2 and it once had plumes coming out, but there's no more plumes, then you're probably out of CO2 for special effects purposes. By our means, the tank is empty. By CO2 means, there's still CO2 in the tank, but you don't need the gas, you need the liquid. That's why it's empty according to special effects purposes. Therefore, you just gotta go get a new tank. If you're wondering what happened to your CO2 and you did have a full tank, Couple of problems could have happened. You could have got an empty tank from the gas company, or you could have got a full tank and you hooked it up, but you didn't use a washer, or you didn't tighten it down, or there was a leak somewhere else on your line and the CO2 slowly leaked out, wasted all the liquid, the tank's still under pressure with gas, but you're not able to use the apparatus that you're using because of that, because there's no more liquid in it. Now, last but not least, the last thing that could happen that has happened before is you get a tank that is a siphon tube tank. It is full. However, the tube inside actually broke off in the tank. This is not common, but it has happened before. If that does happen, you just have to go back to the gas company. It's not anything that us or the gas company was aware of. It just happens. I understand you may be frustrated, but you just gotta fix the problem. Take the tank back to the gas company and talk to them and they will advise you on what to do. Or you can contact us and we will advise you as well. The last option here, which is number four, we probably don't normally talk about this because there's other videos on this page that talk about this already, but I'm gonna advise you here as well to keep all this in one section. You probably have your tank in the wrong position. If none of these other options were the right options and you know that your tank is full, you know that there's CO2 in it, then you probably have the wrong type of tank. Maybe I said that, maybe I didn't. Maybe that's a test. Watch the video again, and I hope this helps. This is Chris with CryoFX. Thank you for watching.